Hey, what's going on guys? Robert Walken here from CoinOp TV. Now at the beginning of the month, I talk about the hot games coming out for that month. And then I hope you guys get in the comments and talk about what games you're looking forward to in this month. So we're talking about May 2014, the hot games of May 2014. I got the list in front of me. This is from Wikipedia. It's a small list and for May. And maybe that's good or maybe that's bad because Lord knows we're all paying a ton of money for games and we can't just go out and buy tons and tons of games every month. But I think we got some quality games coming out, so I want to talk about those right now. We're going to start off with May 2nd, Kirby Triple Deluxe on the Nintendo 3DS, Mario Golf World Tour on the Nintendo 3DS, and then Peggle 2 is going to be coming out for the XBLA for uh, Xbox 360. Originally it was out for the Xbox One. I am a big Peggle 2 fan, or, or I hope to be a big t Peggle 2 fan, because I love the first Peggle, so I'm looking forward to checking that out on my Xbox 360. What else are you guys fans of baseball? We got May 6th, MLB The Show is a Sony PlayStation exclusive. Try and get some baseball action on. Go Dodgers, right? All right, up next, Bound by Flame, which is going to be on multiple platforms, Windows, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and the Xbox 360. And then also that week is going to be a game called Killer is Dead Nightmare Edition, coming out for Windows PC. And then we got some uh, games coming out on handheld here. May 13th, Borderlands 2 was going to be uh, ported over to the PlayStation Vita. I know a lot of you guys are Borderlands fans. Uh, very excited about that, checking out Borderlands on your handheld getting on your Vita there. And also Soul Sacrifice Delta is gonna be a PlayStation Vita game as well. And then the next week, May 20th, we got Transistor is gonna be on Windows Steam and then Sony PlayStation 4. Very much looking forward to Transistor. It's from the development company that did Bastion. I really love Bastion uh, a couple years ago on my Xbox 360, so looking forward to checking out Transistor. There's a lot of hype. There was some hype on that game in PAX. Looking forward to that. What else we got? We got Dragon Guard 3 is gonna be a Sony PlayStation 3 exclusive uh, Mugen Souls Z I don't really know much about this PlayStation 3 game and then another big game Wolfenstein the new order coming out on multiple platforms now I've gotten a chance to play Wolfenstein the new order a couple of times first-person shooter kill some Nazis it's sort of science fiction action lots of double fisted guns double clutching guns on each hand blasting away corridor open world science fiction there's some robotic dogs some giant robots Killing, 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 lots and lots of Nazis. So looking forward to that. Um, Wolfenstein The New Order comes out on Windows, PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, which I played on PlayStation 4 and it looked fantastic. Uh, also Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. So definitely looking forward to checking out Wolfenstein The New Order. Uh, then we have May 23rd, Tropico 5, which I feel like I might have mentioned last month's episode. Maybe that's coming back around, maybe it got delayed for Windows. And then another gigantically huge game, May 27th, we got Watch Dogs from Ubisoft. If you haven't been following the trailers and the videos on our channel for Watch Dogs, we are all very excited about this game. You know, originally we thought it would be a launch title for the new next-gen systems. Got delayed, the developers are saying, hey, we've been working on it, we've been polishing it off, it's gonna be great. Much looking forward to getting my hands on Watch Dogs, playing some of that. That's gonna be for the uh, Windows, PC, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. So whatever system you guys got, Go get your hands on Watch Dogs. Very excited about that. And then another one, we got on the 30th, we're going to be driving around, right? Mario Kart 8. Finally, some new, some new love for the Nintendo Wii fans out there. Some Mario Kart 8. I was just at WonderCon um, not too long ago, and uh, there was a line around the whole booth for Nintendo there to jump on to Mario Kart 8, so I know there's some buzz, some excitement for that game. All right, so then a few more games that say to be announced, uh, and I, this is a game I talked about in last month's episode. Maybe it got delayed or something like that, pushed back. Don Bradman's Cricket 14, uh, supposed to be for Windows, and then Lifeless Planet. Don't really know much about that, but it says Windows Mac, so there's a Mac game there for you guys. And then another game that's on Windows and Mac, Mousecraft, Windows, Macs, Linux, and PS Vita. Don't really know much about uh, either of those games at the end there, but it's a short, since it's a short list, I normally pick three games that I figure are like my buzzing, my three games I'm buzzing and exciting about, but since the list is short, I'm just going to go with two this month, and I'm going to ask you guys in the comments below to let me know what games you're excited about for May 2014. You don't have to limit it to two, but I'm going to limit it to two right here. So I'm definitely, definitely going to go with Wolfenstein, The New Order. Already played some of this already, already very excited about playing this game some more. And Watch Dogs, just, you know, I just want to get in and hack, hack, hack away, fight, drive cars, go nuts, and watch dogs. So 
Let's take a quick look at some of those games, and you guys let me know in the comments below what you're excited about for May 2014. Go! <laughs> 